New at six, it is the first living donor liver exchange in the entire country, and it happened here in San Antonio at University Hospital. Back in April, transplant teams paired the two living donors with two patients who needed transplants. And today, Stephanie Cerner reports it was an emotional reunion. It was last year when Sarah D'Angelo found out she had liver cancer. Soon after, her friend Natasha Sanchez offered to become a living donor. Natasha is a mother of two young children. It's not like she can just have a major surgery and just jump right back into what she does. So, and for a, for a friend, <laughs> so it meant everything to me, and it meant that I also can now be with my children and my grandchildren. Although Sarah and Natasha were a match, Natasha was approached about possibly being a living donor for someone else. That someone else was Mark Blair. Now Mark's daughter, Anna Moreno, wanted to be a donor for him, but she was not a match for her dad. Anna and my son, I figured, well, one of them will match me. And then when they said, well, you're not a match, I was like, oh, God, I hope I live long enough, you know, to get a uh, deceased donor. Yeah, I wanted to donate to my dad and it wasn't a match. And so, of course, I was, I was a little bummed out. Um, but if the transplant team, Dr. Claire, they said, well, they have this thing, you know, a paired, a paired liver, um, paired living uh, donor thing. So the transplant teams paired Anna with Sarah and Natasha with Mark. We can now have incompatible donors successfully donate uh, to recipients not their originally intended recipient, but somebody else. But the eventual outcome would be successful transplantation of multiple parties. And, that, uh, and that's life-saving. Lives that reunited today. Stephanie Serna, KSAT 12 News.